A I T A for ruining my sister's honeymoon? Mom and dad got divorced when my sister Sam and I were 13 and 10. That was 12 years ago. My father was a cheater and still is on to his fourth marriage. Mom met her BF George a year after the divorce, but she kept it a secret and didn't introduce him to us until two years later. Until she was sure that he was the one. That was the time I have seen my mother the happiest in a relationship, she's always been a happy and bubbly person. Sam hated George with all her might because she loves my father very much and he was very heartbroken that mom moved on. He even attempted on his own life. My sister never forgave my mom for it and threatened to cut contact if my mom didn't dump her BF. My mom did. Afterwards my mom was very depressed and down but my sister and dad were happy. Then my sister left for college a few months later. I know for a fact that my mom started seeing her BF again a year ago. She's been happy again. My sister got married last weekend yesterday we had a lunch before she and her husband were to leave for their honeymoon. When I arrived, she wa a bit down. Apparently she asked mom to join us but mom declined. So she opened up saying that since mom dumped her BF she has been very distant and cold with my sister. Never rude or mean or angry, just cold. If she asked her anything or needed something, mom would be there for her. Like when my sister had severe COVID, but other than that, she never contacted my sister on her own volition. My sister was telling me that maybe mom never will be happy again because of her ending her relationship. I told her not to worry about it because they are still seeing each other behind our backs and that mom seemed very happy. My sister was shocked and she started yelling in the middle of the restaurant and started trying to call mom to ask her. Them she called in. Ah. Uh. For never telling her before now. I just never thought it was a secret that I was hiding. Just a private matter and I thought my sister knew too because how couldn't she realize that mom has been happy again and have been going for weekend getaways. My sister is not sick now, demanding that mom would break up with her BF or she would go no contact and I feel like the Ah. Uh. For everything including miscalculating that my sister still has the same stan. Relevant comments. Top commenter, NTA, your sister is overreacting. Not everything is about her. P.S. You didn't ruin her honeymoon. O.O.P. I feel like it is my mistake to start this again. My mom told my sister that she is an adult now and free to go and see. Now my sister thinks my mom and I are. Ah. Uh. Commenter, you cannot govern your life worrying about how your sister is going to react. You spoke the facts. You had no intention of malice. Sis ought to be able to handle this information without making a scene. Info, what did her partner think? O.O.P. I don't know. I haven't spoken to any of them since and he wasn't at the lunch. Commenter, your sister's an absolute dickhead, pal. You are NTA for ruining her honeymoon, but you should probably have kept your mouth shut. Not for your sister's sake, but it wasn't your secret to tell. I don't know how you could think she knew when you had to tell her. Soft YTA for that. OOP. It was more like I just said it like a known fact, like don't worry it didn't stop them from seeing each other. But I fully agree to the soft YTA. I am so sorry. Commenter. Ah. Uh, yeah. I understand like, but you just might have been more discreet seeing as that seems to be the way your mom wants to play it. What you could do is let your mom know that it's cool with you, though. Might be nice for her to know. GL. OOP. Yeah. I called her and apologized, but she doesn't seem to be mad at all or treated it as a secret. She just said I am sorry, I didn't tell frankly. I will talk more when I see her. Commenter, sister is an AH. Mom is a saint. Let sister go and see. She has a husband and a life of her own. Who is she to dictate? In fact have mom a deal with sister, they can both leave their men. I am obviously being sarcastic. OOP. <laughs> yeah. That would put things in perspective. Why didn't I think of that? To ask her what she would do if I told her to leave her husband. Commenter, your sister needs to grow up. She's doing your father's dirty work by keeping her single. I think your mother would be justified in skipping your sister's wedding. Why should your mother be alone? Now that your sister is a married woman, she needs to get over herself. OOP. My mom did attend the wedding, but my sister felt that she wasn't really acting like a mother whose daughter is getting married. Thing is, she isn't opposed to mom dating either that's why I wasn't careful about not telling her. Just that she's back with that specific BF. I don't get it. One more thought from OOP. That's the problem though. She isn't expecting her to be single forever and was even talking about her maybe needing to meet someone so she isn't opposed to the notion. That's why I felt more relaxed about telling her about George because I honestly thought that she knew or at least wouldn't care. Now she is very upset and devastated after my mom's response to her that she is free to go no contact. A couple of days after her wedding. Update post, August 9th, 2024, 10 days later. So my mom and George are getting married and none of us is invited. Just some of their closest friends and George's children and their parents. They are getting married in September and moving to another city. She sent my sister a letter telling her that this time she was the one who is asking for NC. That she has done her job now and raised two well-adjusted and happy daughters and she believes her duties are being fulfilled. Now we are all adults. My mom wants space and peace now and she will not be dragged into more drama. That she wishes my sister to stop being like her father believing all people are her property and puppets. And after that she can take the same amount of time to reflect then they could maybe reconsider their relationship. So if it takes you 5 years to be a decent human, then take another 5 years to make sure and reflect, then maybe we can consider reconnecting. Until then I wish you the best life, but I don't want to be a part of it. She didn't write any letter to me and told me that we could always keep in touch. We talk 5 to 7 times a week, and I am welcome to visit and stay with her and her husband anytime I wanted. Now sure how to feel. 
My sister is the one who hurt her and yet she only decided to move on once she made sure my sister was happily married but what about me? Relevant comments. Is OOP invited to the wedding? No I am not invited. What sis is doing now? My sister is now demanding that my mother leave her estate to us because it was my dad's money anyway and trying to contact lawyers about that. I honestly don't blame mom and I don't want anything to do with her or my dad. My dad is raging too saying how he loved mom and she never forgiven him and honestly he says that she is cheating on him even now and acting all heartbroken. Commenter, if you talk to mom 5 to 7 times a week, can you not ask her why she's similarly excluding you? Did you copy any of your sister's behavior? You also need to apologize for using her personal life as gossip for the family or as a tool to get your sister agitated. OOP, downvoted, no I did not but I kept away from both sister and father and didn't have an opinion. OOP's relationships, I am already LC, low contact with both my father and sister almost nc no contact with my father since he cheated story 2 my boyfriend shattered my phone because a homeless guy gave me a flower my birthday was a couple of days ago and i haven't spoken to him since i'm heartbroken about this i was walking home with my boyfriend and we passed a group of homeless people one of them said here you go miss you since you're the first woman who walked by and gave me a dead of flower it was around 10 p.m and my birthday was at midnight so it kind of felt special to me i said thank you so much and kept walking my BF didn't say anything so I didn't think anything was wrong. I took my phone to take a video of the flower and tell my friend what just happened and he tried taking my phone. I was laughing and asked what he's doing and didn't answer, just kept walking next to me. He looked a little annoyed but I still wanted to get a video with the flower so I pulled my phone out again. This time, he hit my hand really hard and made me drop my phone on the concrete. My phone screen is completely broken. Luckily, it's the screen protector but still, it's all shattered. I screamed, why did you do that? And he took my flower and threw it on the road. He said that's what I get for embarrassing him like that. I was tearing up because 1. He broke my phone too. He threw my flower away. 3. I couldn't understand what I did wrong. He made me delete the video with the flower in front of him and we walked in silence the rest of the time. At home, I blew up at him, I was crying screaming asking him why he did that literally an hour before my birthday. He said, how would you feel if a girl just came up to me in front of you to give me a flower? I said, if it were the same homeless woman that you see almost every day when you walk in your neighborhood I wouldn't mind. We have walked by this specific man plenty of times. He called me a liar then said I was manipulative to try to invalidate his feelings when I was blandly disrespecting him in front of other men. I don't understand how it's disrespectful. I wasn't even going to keep the damn thing. It was a dead flower. I just thought it was cool because that had never happened to me, especially two hours before my birthday. He said a bunch of stuff, basically that I was an attention whore. I was sobbing. It was already my birthday and I felt like shit. We went to sleep without talking and the next morning he was gone. I had a brunch with my friends so I had my mind distracted for a couple of hours, but it was still in the back of my mind. I still don't know who's 100% in the wrong here, maybe I shouldn't have accepted the flower, but I honestly saw it as an innocent thing. He still won't talk to me, even his siblings wished me a happy birthday, but he hasn't yet. I don't know what to do, I don't want to lose my boyfriend over a flower. Relevant comments. OOP responds to multiple comments on the fact her boyfriend is being abusive. OOP, okay, this is honestly scaring me, I just cannot imagine him do those things to me. But I honestly am taking what you're saying in consideration and am going to think about this entire relationship. I know it's ridiculous to me, especially because we've walked past this guy so many times before. And the flower was literally half dead. <laughs> I'm definitely considering breaking up with him, I just wanted someone to tell me where I was wrong. Thank you so much. I know, this honestly hurt me more than my phone being broken. He had never called me names, ever. He also said I was a whore just like my other little friends. Maybe he was just in the heat of the moment because he was really angry, but ik I can't stop thinking about that. Sugarpuff underscore karma, why are two children out alone at night? OOP, we're 22. Spare mushrooms, yes. You do want to lose your boyfriend over a flower. There will not be a better excuse for you to separate yourself from this insecure maniac. Update. Hello everyone, thank you so so much for all the help. I broke up with him. To be honest, I still love him and I'm trying to cut all communication, because I know that if he contacts me again, I'll most likely go back. I literally made a list of all the reasons why he sucks and I try to read it every time I want to text him. <laughs> Here's the update. He surprised me with my favorite flowers and a letter. He wished me happy birthday and apologized for his reaction. He said he was being immature and it won't happen again. He said we should work on communicating each other's boundaries better. He also apologized for ghosting me for a few days. He said he just needed some time to cool down. Not going to lie, I just wanted my boyfriend back, so I accepted the apology under the condition that he will never do anything like that again. He swore on his life that he'll never make me cry ever again. I genuinely saw a shift in his personality, he was even better than when I first fell for him. Like one time, we were cuddling and talking about our relationship. He literally started crying while professing his love to me. He said that he knows that sometimes he gets frustrated over little things, but it's because he loves me so much and he's terrified to lose me. He shared so many things about his past, he had never opened up to me before, so it really felt like the relationship grew stronger. We went to the beach as a little birthday celebration for me with his friends. We were six in total and I was the only girl. Two other girls were supposed to come too, but they had work. I didn't know that until I asked one of the guys and he told me. 
Long story short, he got mad at me for wearing a bikini. He was like, WTF do I look like having my girl walk around half naked like a hoe in front everyone. I reminded him that we're at the beach and a lot of people wear bikinis at the beach. He said that it's different because I'm the only girl here with five guys and it makes me look bad. I said I didn't care and went back to everyone. After a little while, he pulled me to the side again. He called me names, said that one of his friends obviously wants to fuck me, but I'm too fucking dumb to see it. He said he overheard him, I don't think this is true, but it. He was very angry, but also he had been drinking so it could explain his irrationalness. I started crying then went home because I didn't want people to see me like that. He was being so weird. I don't know why he was being aggressive all of a sudden. Like before the flower incident, he had never used that kind of language with me, especially in public. He came over that night to talk about what happened. I was so hurt. I honestly thought we had grown closer. We both explained our side of the situation. I told him I wasn't trying to get anyone's attention by wearing a bikini and I can kind of understand his point of view BC was a little uncomfortable too being the only girl there. He said I could have put my clothes back on but I had T.O. stay in a bikini. He said I looked like a hoe waiting to get fucked when I was laying on my stomach tanning. I can't really remember what he said after that, I was just so hurt. We were going in circles, so we decided to just go to bed. He then tried to initiate sex, which just pissed me off. I said no every time. I heard him say something about me being an annoying ass bitch under his breath, and that was the last straw. I kicked him out and broke up with him. It wasn't easy, he was crying and screaming the whole time. He even punched a wall in my room. I was terrified, I never thought he could do that, we had never fought like that before. He finally left when I dialed 911 and threatened to call. I don't know why I still love him so much, I understand his reactions, knowing his past and what he's been through, and it's a lot trust me. I know it's not an excuse but it's still an explanation right? Anyway it's over now, half of my stuff is still at his house, I don't even want to think about it right now. He's blocked, I am really trying to villainize him in my mind so I can move on, but it's hard when all I can think of is the amazing moments we shared. Like how he was crying in my arms telling me he loves me more than life, the day he asked me to be his girlfriend or the day he gave me a promise ring. Maybe I did go wrong somewhere, it's just so crazy to think that all of this could have been avoided if I hadn't accepted the flower. Also I am very aware that I'm dumb for thinking that he could change so quick. I just wanted my boyfriend back. Thank you again, everyone for the advice. Relevant comments. Brian or Mike, you are wrong in the kind of person he is. He's an abusive piece of garbage. He'll manipulate you and say whatever he feels he needs to say to get you to stay but in reality he does not care about you. No, his past isn't an explanation nor an excuse either. He's just a bad person. OOP. I don't know why he started acting like that. I can assure you he wasn't like this before it started two weeks ago I don't know why. Huh. <sighs> Lady Excellent One, you did the right thing and I am proud of you. He is violent and abusive and you simply cannot afford to go back. All those special moments, the crying in your arms, the declarations of love, that was him convincing not only you but himself. Why? Because he wants your forgiveness sure. But what he really wants is to confuse you and convince you both he's not capable of abuse. But that's a lie. And now you see the lie.